Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the new Say hello to my new friend! iPhone 11 Pro. It's going to be my first time reviewing a gadget, so uh, I don't really know about those techie terms. If you're not sure about all those really techie foreign terms, then you click the right video to waste your time on. This isn't an unboxing video because, ugh, oh, frick. This isn't an unboxing video since I was too excited to open it and use it last night. I already have the case on. It's um, clear and it's gold on the sides just like the phone and um, it already has tempered glass. It's, it's not really obvious though, so so here's the box. I'll be showing you what's in the box. But before anything else, I'd like to tell you guys that I'm super happy because this is the first phone that I bought with my own money. And I'm super thankful, super grateful for all the brands that trusted me and especially to you guys. The Pizza Cannon Squad! For your never ending support and for watching my videos. Thank you guys so much. Above all else, I'd like to thank God. This is going to serve as my motivation to work even harder. Uh, let's start! Um, by the way, I got the iPhone 11 Pro that's gold and it's 256 gigabytes. <laughs> oh, what's this? Okay, it's like this thing that says designed by. Do you, do you freaking see it? Bro. Yeah, I'm sure you do. It says designed by Apple in California and it says. Hello. Hello. And um, what else? What does it have? has this um power off and sos charging blah 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 <laughs> here there's this pokey thingy for the sim i really don't know what this is i don't really read these stuff and stickers apple stickers so what's next in the box <laughs> okay okay i better calm down okay so um what the heck is this? Did you know your iPhone charges up to two times faster with a USB-C to lightning cable? Hmm. Okay, so, oh yes, it has a fast charger, but I already took it out and it already has a cord protector that's purple because I already used it last night and this afternoon. Yeah, and it charges faster than the regular iPhone charger that they released before. Yeah, I love purple so much. My cord protector for this is purple. My cord protector for this is also purple. My phone case for my iPhone 7 is also purple. My laptop bag is also purple. I'm basically Barney. Oh, yeah, earphones. Of course, iPhones always come with earphones. Ah, crap, okay. Whoa, do you see the earphones? Can you please focus? Oh, please. There we go, earphones. The earphones with wires, of course, these aren't AirPods. Let's talk about the features of this phone. So, these are the features of the iPhone 11 Pro. <laughs> I think the biggest highlight of this phone is that um, it has these three cameras. I keep saying um because I really don't know what to say next because it's my first time reviewing a phone. I'm really sorry. Okay. Um. Oh! Okay, so I'll start screen recording, then I'll show you the cameras. This is the front cam. So let's try to take a selfie. And then it also has like the wide lens for selfies, so that's really cool. Okay, then, um, it's really clear. I love that. Look, and then, um, Thing is, you could see that I have like a tiny pimple over here, <laughs> and I really love it because it's clear and it's and it's way better than. Actually, I I didn't get the iPhone X or what. Okay, at this point, I feel like I've been saying iPhone X instead of 10 the whole time. Uh, like my phone before this was an iPhone 7, and I also had an iPhone 6, so I could only compare it to those iPhone 7 obviously doesn't have the wide lens and the quality is really better with the iPhone 11 Pro. It's really clear on 
this phone. Okay, so let's try using this. Okay, this is like the, wait, I, I don't remember what the lenses are called, gosh. Okay, so this is like the zoomed one. And then this one's wide. And then this one's ultra wide, whoa. And like you could really zoom it in far. There we go. And it also has this night mode. Let's try it outside. Whoa! Let's go outside to see how night mode works. And I'm also going to show you how the video cam also works because you could vlog with this since videos can be taken in 4K even with the front cam, which is really, really cool. So you wouldn't really have to bring a big camera with you to vlog. You could use this. And oh yeah, so the I also forgot to tell you guys that wait, let me screen record this. Panorama also has the zoomed lens, this lens, and the ultra wide one. And oh crap, okay, then portrait has like different lights, like natural light, studio light, blah 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 blah. All those. Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, you could also use the wide lens and the zoomed lens for portrait with videos. Front camera videos, um, it doesn't have a wide lens, it's just like this, unlike when you take photos. But you could take your videos on front cam in 4K, which is cool. And you could now take um, slow-mo videos with a front cam, yay! Unlike this, you can't take slow-mo vids on your iPhone 7 with a front cam, which is sad. But yay, okay. And also time-lapse videos, obviously. Time-lapse also has the three, could also use the three lenses. Also the slow-mo. Whoa. Okay. And yeah. So let's go outside to check out night mode and vlogging with this phone. Okay, so this is how the back cams look like when you take videos. Uh... I think the night mode thing doesn't work on the ultra wide one when you take videos. I'm not sure with the photos though. Way better than the iPhone 7 though. Like, look at it when you take videos. It's like freaking dark. Y'all see that? Yeah, it's really dark. But like, when you take it with the iPhone 11 Pro, it's so cool. Okay, so thank God Kuya told me about the 4K setting here with this front cam and the back cam, I guess. Actually, this is 4K. The one earlier was 1080, and this is 4K. This, yeah, this is 4K with the front cam. Something else about the iPhone 11 Pro is improved battery life. Its battery life is longer than the iPhone 7. Again, it's the only thing I could compare to. But from what I've heard, its battery life is also improved and better than the iPhone XR's battery life iPhone XR, whatever. And also improved water resistance. Let me read this. The base model iPhone 11 improved water resistance from just one meter maximum depth on the iPhone XR XR to a maximum depth of two meters for up to 30 minutes. Whoa. 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 I didn't get the iPhone 8 or there wasn't an iPhone 9. I didn't get an iPhone X or an XR or whatever those phones were because I take good care of my phones, honestly. I think you guys also remember this iPhone 6 in my What's in My Backpack video together with this iPhone 7. Uh, this would have been a survivor up to this day if it weren't for that hard phone case I used. Actually, it's still alive, but like, can you see that there's this like black thing now and some lines on it and that's pretty sad and it doesn't work as well anymore because when I was trying to take the hard case off, like that really hard case I used, I think I pressed it too hard and yeah, this happened. That's really sad. Rest in peace phone. It's like four years old. I've had this since February 2015. That was like late grade four. So yeah, and I have like two sims or I at least needed a phone with another sim then I had a sim on this phone. Okay, that's really complicated. What I did was, I got another iPhone 6 that wasn't being used here at home and it was like a replacement for this. No matter how long you've been there, no matter how loyal you've been, no matter how much value you have, you could still get replaced. Sad. Really sad. I've had this iPhone 7 for like more than a year now and it still works like 
I guess perfectly fine. So yeah, I didn't really feel the need to get another phone. And it feels so good that I was able to buy my first phone bought with my own money. So again, thank you guys for watching my videos. And thank you, Lord. Okay, I just want to flex my wallpaper because it's like, oh, he's so handsome. Do you guys know him? His name's Rule. His birthday is in two days. Oh, oh my God. God. <gasps> His birthday is October 29. Okay. My crushes are like October babies. Noah's an October baby. October 3. Rule's an October baby. And also my home screen is Rule. He's so guapo, he's so handsome, he's so cute. Oh my God, and he's so freaking tall. He's like more than a foot taller than me, that's so sad. <laughs> Enough with all the rule stuff. The moral of the story is nothing lasts forever. No, I'm kidding. That's all for this review and talk about the iPhone 11 Pro. So is it worth it for me? Yeah, it is worth it, especially if like you want to use something smaller for vlogging and if you take photos a lot, it's really helpful and it's way better than the previous iPhones. Yeah, but if like you don't really feel the need to get a phone with better cameras or what and you think you're okay with the older kind of phones, then why not just stick with them? The iPhone 6 has been a thing since like 2014 or 15 and I was able to live with it for years. But to me, this is really worth it, I swear to God. So if you guys think that you should get this, then go for it. You deserve something for yourself. <laughs> That's all guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Go follow me on Instagram at SophieCicated618. Go follow me on TikTok at SophieCicated618. Go follow and like my Facebook page, Sophia Margaretto at RealSophieCicated618. And follow me on Twitter at Real Sofia though. I'm super grateful for y'all. Thank you, Lord. And thank you. Yeah, just thank you. See you guys in my next video. Bye.